for our packaging dashboard is a service uh, that's uh, designed to help all federal packagers. Uh, uh, my name is Franky Zatloukal, I'm from Federal QE and uh, those two other people that you, you can see on the title slide uh, work on, on the project too. Lukáš Brabec wrote uh, the front-end part, uh, I wrote back-end and Josef Skladanka was uh, leading the project and uh, giving feedback and reviewing, uh, reviewing the code and the changes. Uh, so, the origin of package dashboard. Uh, it all started by um, um, email of uh, email of Mero Hronchog in 2019 on Fedora mailing list, develop mailing list, and uh, he sent this uh, idea out out into the world. And uh, uh, three of us uh, came came out with an idea that we can work on such such a project. Uh, this is a original mock-up uh, what Miro sent out, uh, how the dashboard could look. And if somebody of uh, you uh, uses Federal Package Dashboard nowadays, or uh, as we'll be able to see, or you all will be able to see in, in the demo, it looks very similar to what uh, the original mock image looked, up, looked like. What, uh, what are the goals of Federal Package Dashboard? Uh, the main goal is to collect data from all relevant sources, uh, Bugzilla, Body, Koshe, and uh, nowadays even some, some more uh, like uh, Retrace Server, which uh, stores data from uh, ABRT uh, reports. Uh, the main or core idea behind uh, package dashboard is to present uh, all the information about all your packages in Fedora that are, that are relevant to package maintenance. Uh, uh, it has to be presented uh, in a fast and responsive uh, uh, way. That means uh, we have to cache most of the data or all the data because as uh, somebody of you you who use Red Hat Bugzilla might know that it isn't always that, that fast, especially if you are uh, maintaining a package with uh, lots of bugs and trying to filter filter some of them out. Uh, and some other core ideas are to make packagers' life easier, so and so to save time to further up package maintainers, be it maintainers from community or maintainers from Red Hat and even lower the barrier of entry into packaging world a little bit at least. Uh, here are some, some results of uh, some, some feedback that uh, was posted by package dashboard users to, uh, to mailing list thread about the dashboard. And now it's time for the demo. So uh, this is a title screen, title screen of our package dashboard. Uh, you can uh, start by typing your username or start by clicking on the uh, help button, which I'll probably show later uh, because this is a whole page that uh, should be used if you're a dashboard. And we can try to open a dashboard of Mirror Honchak. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, package dashboard. Uh, everything you can see here. Uh, are potential action items or potential issues or uh, uh, active updates against their package. So everything that, uh, that somehow affects any of your packages is shown here. Um, yeah, we can, we can uh, start with, uh, yeah, what was there? Uh, in the top part of dashboard, you can see Fedora release schedule, uh, which can be useful if you can't, uh, can't manage to keep track of uh, Fedora release, uh, next Fedora release, so you can see how we are getting currently to Fedora 35. Uh, thing under, under it, beneath that, is uh, something we have added pretty recently. Uh, those are package calendars. And uh, uh, you'll be able to see 
uh, calendars that are relevant to packages that you maintain. So as we can see here, Miro is maintaining a core Python interpreter in Fedora. So yeah, he might want to be able to see a release schedule of Python itself. And also this is something that uh, I would like to appeal to uh, any of uh, anybody listening that we, will, we are looking for help with uh, these package calendars. I'll send out an email probably today or tomorrow on how you can contribute and uh, how you can add another package calendars because currently we only support Python and uh, GNOME release schedules. And I, I imagine uh, lots of uh, other packagers would fi might find that useful. And so since we have lots of, lots of things down here, uh, I'll start with showing filtering options. So uh, you can filter out something directly uh, to, uh, so you can write an exact match of package. Uh, you can use uh, regular expressions and you can, uh, you can uh, use a Boolean, Boolean logic there. So I can write not Python and not. So yeah, as you can see, I'm, um, Ampi got, uh, got out of there. You can write there as many as many filters as you want. And apart from that, there are easier ways to filter out results. So you can click on these buttons. So actually, uh, not right now I'm I'm showing only only bugs. And uh, you have some some tags uh, near near the box. You can filter filter by the uh, by those tags in advanced options. But I won't be showing it uh, everything here uh, right now in this demo. You can try that yourself on anybody's package dashboard. Uh, the other interesting thing is updates, and we have recently added a build list into each update, so you can take a look and see. Uh, what builds are part of any update, and uh, these links lead to Koji Koji build page. If that loads up, yeah. And yeah, those, those overrides. And uh, another interesting thing uh, that we are showing on package dashboard are pull requests. And uh, what might be useful uh, are the results of a CI uh, for specific pull request. So we can see that it uh, failed and some, something uh, succeeded. Or, uh, for this pull request, everything succeeded. So we can keep track of uh, changes that somebody else is sending against their packages. Uh, these are fails from Cochet. Uh, uh, we are showing fails from Federal Health Check, the service uh, run by Fabio Valentini. So thanks, uh, thanks him for that. Uh, I'll show orphans on a orphan page because Miro obviously cares about these packages and don't have many, many of them depending on something orphaned. And this is another thing that we have added recently. Uh, these are data from a retrace server. And as you can see, uh, we are showing uh, two kinds of information. The uh, first one is if your package has any ABRT problems reported against itself. So we can see something is reported. And let me, I should learn the keyboard shortcuts in Chrome. And the other thing is uh, that we are doing some statistical algorithms on top of all the data and uh, explicitly showing problems if they are outlying in some way. So here we can see there is one problem that has count uh, a lot higher than, uh, than the others. So we are showing that explicitly and you can link, uh, you can click on the link to see all the problems and yeah. And um, In, in the settings menu, you can uh, disable some of the elements of package dashboard. Uh, if you, for example, don't care about calendars or federal schedule, you can turn that off. You can disable some of uh, 
uh, Fedora releases. So if you don't care about anything from Rawhide, you can disable that and you can instantly see that uh, count of bugs changed a lot. Uh, you can filter bugs by priority, by tax, or you can hide entire sections on of uh, some some sort of data. So not right now I'm not showing data from Retrace server. And uh, then the final thing you can filter on is that you can hide packages that you own through group. By default, package dashboard will show you all the packages that uh, uh, are owned by you and by groups that you are part of. Uh, you can uh, you can see there is a free state switcher. Uh, the middle option will uh, show only packages that uh, you own directly and that those packages might be part of uh, Lua package sick. And uh, the other op option would hide all the packages owned by the group. So even if you own them directly, they won't be shown at all. And the uh, final part of the demo would be the orphan user. You especially, especially username, you, you, uh, there is nobody in, in Fedora, the Fedora account that's, uh, that has a nickname orphan. But we are showing all the all the orphan packages or packages that are depending on something that's orphaned, uh, which means a package can be directly orphaned, which means it will go out of Fedora if uh, it's not taken by somebody else, or uh, you can have a package that depends even indirectly on something that's orphaned, and for this situation, the package dashboard has an interesting. Visual, uh, visualizing tool, which can uh, illustrate even indirect indirect orphans. So as we can see, Epi uh, Apache command and file upload uh, file upload depends on portlet, and that depends on something that's orphaned. So we can instantly see and decide if you want to take maintainership of something, or you want to disable some support or some feature uh, in your package so it doesn't depend on something that's uh, going away from Fedora. I'll take a look if there, if you can see something more complicated. Uh, not much yet, but this might be more interesting. Yeah, it's still... Um, uh, never mind. Sometimes there are pretty interesting situation where something depends on lots of different orphan packages and you can see a nice graphs on package dashboard but uh, now it's not not the case so that would be everything for demo and let's go on with talk so uh, some implementation details of uh, mainly the backend or our room because uh, I'm not working on front end and I don't understand front front ends at all. And if you would have some questions about front end, you will have to reach uh, Lukas Brabets, who was mentioned on the first slide. Uh, so for our Oracle, it's it's heavily based around Flask and Celery. It's written in Python and uh, it's. Uh, heavily using uh, robust parallelization uh, through Celery because uh, we are refreshing cache for ton of packages and that wouldn't work without a huge number of workers that can fetch information in a parallel manner. Uh, Frontend is uh, a JavaScript application and it's written in React. So just to mention that. Uh, Oracle Mem package dashboard, dashboard is currently deployed in Fedora's OpenShift instance. Uh, thanks uh, to Fedora infrastructure team for helping with that. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to make that work just myself. And and one of the uh, our goals or long-term goals is to make Oracle some sort of common common source of truth for federal related information. So uh, we are aiming to build an easy to use, easy to understand API where you can ask any information that's related to Fedora, for uh, for example, what are current Fedora releases and I want it in an API friendly way. You can query Oracle nowadays uh, or what are versions of uh, package A uh, what versions of package A are in all the Fedora releases. Uh, this is something that uh, 
Pagir is currently using today if you are using ThisGit. And if you can imagine the version table of some package, the data are pulled from Oraculum. Uh, yeah, we have some, uh, I'll get more to that uh, on, on the roadmap slide, but uh, we still haven't finished some documentation for the API, so it's still in, in progress. Uh, what was accomplished during uh, during DevConf, uh, not during, since DevConf, uh, as I've said some of those things uh, already uh, in, in demo. Uh, retrace server integration was, was added into Oraculum and sh showing of uh, data from retrace server. And uh, we have finished and enabled authentication and showing of private bugs. Uh, you can uh, even look at somebody else dashboard if you are if you are a packager you can see all the private bugs for any federal package so we can try that if you don't own any package with, with private bugs um, we have added contextual package specific calendars and uh, we have finished backend part for uh, customized dashboards this is something that will still take some time uh, before it's finished, especially front-end side. But uh, is, you will be able to build your own dashboards from uh, based on any number of users and their packages or some packages explicitly and share that, uh, that dashboard with uh, your colleagues, your team, or other community members working on some, some sort of stack in Fedora. Uh, so we, are, we are really looking forward to that because it will, it will make uh, possible some more use case for uh, Fedora package dashboard. And what are other, plan, are other plans? Uh, Amping up uh, integration with Fedora CI and show, showing some some more more results and uh, in some more user experience yeah, UX friendly way, exploring integration with other Fedora processes and services, um, investigating some possibilities for downstream usage of Fedora package dashboard, many more optimizations because. Uh, Sometimes the dashboard can take a bit too load, especially if you are a new user on dashboard and if you have lots of packages, uh, the dashboard won't, won't be exactly fast, fast on first load. This is caused by the fact that we are caching only data for people who visit it at least, uh, for, uh, at least once in 14 days. So if you don't visit it, uh, visit it that often, uh, the first load will, will be slow and we have, we have some ideas and some changes, refactoring of the code to make that faster. Uh, we are planning to uh, make use of uh, Fedora messaging, uh, make a make listener for Fedora messaging so we won't have to keep polling for uh, all the all the different uh, Fedora services or especially Bugzilla, for example, which is uh, uh, pretty slow, uh, but we will be able to just keep listening and receiving messages about bug changes. Uh, yeah, faster things, that this is something that I mentioned, and yeah, documentation, especially API documentation and integration testing. Uh, so these are the most important links. Uh, you will find the Federal Package Dashboard on, uh, on the first link. Uh, if you have some uh, feature requirements, feature requests, bug reports, or if you want to work on some part of the dashboard, uh, we'll be glad for any, any ideas, help, and even some pull requests. Uh, you can visit, uh, visit repositories on uh, Pagir. Backend is Oracle and frontend is Package Dashboard. Feel free to report any bugs to, to the front end, which is the la last link. Uh, we will uh, move that uh, to the correct project if, if it's, uh, if, uh, for example, backend issue. You, you don't have to, to care about this too much. Thanks for your attention. And uh, now it's time for your questions. Do you see? 
Yes, uh, Craig Curtis. Uh, yes, uh, you you will see your package as it uh, if it depends on something that's orphaned, you will see it on your dashboard and you will see which uh, which package that your package is depending on is orphaned and when it's going away from Fedora and uh, you'll be able to uh, decide and act up, upon upon that. Uh, I'm uh, I'm really thankful for Mirror Hunchuk's uh, data data parsing scripts because he generates the JSON source for us and we are just parsing that and uh, uh, displaying on package dashboard. So if we don't have any other questions, uh, I would like to thank you a lot for. Uh, for listening, for your attention. Uh, I'm really sorry about the video issues and I hope you have enjoyed the talk uh, anyway. So enjoy a uh, few last talks on uh, this year's Federanest and uh... <laughs> you are welcome everybody. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to work on this board.